What's going on family and friends? Y'all know me, Shakur. Today's video, I decided to make a video on my investments, my portfolio, what's the portfolio, what I'm investing in, and I'm deciding to do a YouTube style. Doing a uh, dumbed down, simple version of what exactly uh, is my investment strategy, how can you invest, and there's a few things that I want to talk about first before I end up diving into the video. I'm gonna show y'all my uh, portfolio, I'm gonna show y'all um, some of the companies that I'm invested in, how much I invested in, and kind of like, get an idea on where y'all can start too because I really 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 want to put y'all on um, and it's something that a lot of people are skeptical about but just hear me out if you care about money and you want to try to grow your network this is something that I would recommend anybody doing you do not need a lot of money to start I wrote a couple notes just to help me out with this video one of my investment strategies right now this is not something this is not something that is a get rich quick scheme this is not something that you uh, make a lot of money right away there's a lot of risk behind investing in people are skeptical about it um, and that is where people just kind of like tune everything out as soon as they hear investing or something about money they automatically think it's a scam and y'all know me y'all know where I'm from I have not made that much money in the past uh, but when it comes to something like this this is a newfound interest that I've been really investing myself into for a good like over a year now and I want to show y'all basically what it is so I'm gonna show y'all really quick I'm gonna show y'all how y'all can invest y'all money into whatever minimize the risk and and minimize you losing any money whatsoever because automatically when people hear about investing they think you know y'all can lose a lot of money and I'm not that's not necessarily true uh, so I'm just going to dive into it I don't want to talk that much but here we go y'all so right now if y'all look on the screen there's a uh, screenshot of my investment portfolio I'm using a um, app called Webull is w-e-b-u-l-l w-e-b-u-l-l um, I've been using this app for about like three months now as first thing y'all can see right now is uh, basically the different companies that I'm watching right now Okay, you got Chipotle you got Tesla you got a uh, Shopify Netflix Apple I like to personally invest in a lot of technology companies now when it comes to you looking up companies You can always google what they call a ticker symbol and that just uh, basically is an abbreviation of the type of company that you want to invest your money in when it comes to investing the money like you want to know how much a share of something is a share is basically uh, you taking a part of the company and you having partial ownership of the company um, and that is how people basically get that money into their um, their account their stock or brokerage account because uh, they own part of that company uh, so you go down there's a lot of companies y'all could look up Facebook Alibaba Microsoft uh, those are some of the ones I like to look at um, and then if you go into the next page they'll show you like different graphs of how the overall stock market is doing and um, really quick people have this misconception where the stock market could be doing bad right now but how the news portray a lot of finances and things online and internet it's not necessarily true which is crazy because I thought that like you would think the economy would be doing so much worse but they do not want the stock market or any any type of account in that type of capacity to drop down whatsoever or have another depression or a stock market crash so no matter what the stock market does have its ups and downs but this is there are ways you can minimize risk and it's been doing really well since this whole pandemic has been going on and it's a lot of information that's why I'm trying to rush through this and get y'all to it and stop procrastinating so um, I'm sorry if it's very overwhelming y'all can always go back to the video and you know check out or repeat what I said that's why I'm talking really fast um, right now so if y'all look on the screen y'all can see how much my net account value is I have a thousand two hundred sixty four dollars into this account this is an account I've been investing for about three months now this is not the only investment account that I have. There's other uh, investment accounts that I have that's worth almost close to over a thousand dollars. And my job, I've been only doing this for almost a year, so um, my money has definitely been growing. Like not right now, I am um, at my ten thousand uh, dollar goal, so uh, I should hit that within a couple months. So I'm really happy about that. But yeah, y'all can see my account value is valued at a thousand two hundred sixty-four dollars. And that is not all the money that I have put in by myself. Some of that is from uh, uh, dividends. Some of that is from um, just having the money grow just by owning a share of a company, which is really cool, y'all. So y'all look down, y'all see that is the graphs, you know, 
um, you can go by five days to one month to three months and you look down and that is basically my portfolio of the different companies that I own a share of now I don't own a lot of companies like I said I've only been doing this for a couple of months but you can see Microsoft Walmart Kraft which is like the catch-up company Sony Sony um, I've been slowly doing what they call dollar cost averaging um, which is a technique or strategy that I use to not uh, uh, blow all my money and have so much to where I can lose it um, so like for example like I like to invest at least a hundred dollars um, every two weeks into one of these stocks um, into the stock market and then the uh, rest of my money kind of go in different accounts um, but that is one technique I like to do and then I like to slowly buy different companies and when you buy different companies that helps you um, not lose money and it also helps um, it keeps a stable graph so the only reason why I have been growing my money my money has been growing into my account and while I'm hitting over a thousand dollars is mostly because that I have been buying and holding I used to uh, have um, a technique where I would buy the stock, I would buy and sell, and I would be a day trader, that's what they call a day trader. But now I'm just a long term investor, which means that I'll buy a share of a company, I hold it and forget it, no matter what. You do not want to be the type of person uh, where you will buy something and you sell it because you see it's going up and you want that quick money. That's where you get that uh, get rich quick scheme thing. That's where you had those problems lie. Uh, and that's where people lose their money because they are in a rush. They feel like they may miss out. Um, and uh, they, they just want to try to, they, they feel like they're missing an opportunity. Um, and that's also how you lose money. But no matter what, um, just keep it buy and hold is what my technique is. So y'all can see like my graph, like it's been growing for the past couple months, um, which I've been very proud about. One example, say like if y'all don't know what stock to buy, like I personally believe like if you do not want to lose your money I feel like you always want to make sure you put your money into a company um, that you truly believe is going to do well in the future and it's not going to go anywhere in these next few years so like say if you want to invest in Facebook you can search Facebook Facebook is a company that obviously has not been gone snapchat is a company that's not going to really go away um, but if y'all want to know how much is a share so you go on look up the company uh, for example snapchat is twenty dollars right now okay twenty dollars you can see how the graph is going um, for snapchat you can look at the different tabs you can see the news the comments what uh, analysts say you know what the community saying um, and I like to see you know you might not know what is a good company to invest in but I personally like to look at graphs from like the next few months or the, the past few months the uh, past few years to really get a feel like how well the company is doing now um, the more you probably wondering like okay how can you make money off this say you bought this share at twenty dollars and next thing you know the next day it might go up <laughs> I don't know five dollars um, you end up having that profit being made into your account so your net worth for that entire account has it basically went up without you doing anything just because you own that company that is how you earn money that is how you build your uh, your net worth and um, uh, things into the stock market you know what I mean that's that's how you do that um, and you diversify uh, you can also make money through dividends so like certain companies if you look at like what they call the ex dividend day that is um that's basically uh, if you own a share of that company before that date, then companies pay you a dividend, which can be some change to, I don't know, a dollar or two uh, each month or each quarter. Uh, and it just automatically put it into your account and you can grow a portfolio with just dividends uh, and companies that you own that pay out dividends. That's something that I've been trying to do uh, and it can take some time. Uh, this is something that's really interesting to me, y'all. Like if you really got to look into it dividends is something that's really really good and that is how a lot of wealthy people get their money up and it's built so much wealth over in the past um, this this app in general Weeble I'm not sponsored by Weeble obviously if y'all have signed up for Weeble I can get a sh uh, free stock but y'all can get a free stock too I really really like this app y'all because it doesn't cost money you don't have to spend the money that you put in say like you put in that hundred dollars you get that free stock for signing up you get that free stock for putting a hundred dollars um, you do not have to buy a share you can just see how that money goes into that account grows into that account just by signing up because they're going to give you a stock for free 
you can watch and see how that stock is doing just to get a feel um, on how the stock market works. That's what I started to do. Um, I did Robinhood, I did Weeble, I did, or I'm doing Weeble. I um, I have different accounts, but that that's something that y'all can do. Um, I'm, I really wanted to put y'all on this. Uh, it's very overwhelming and I don't want this video to be too long. Um, but yeah, seriously, look into it, y'all. Search different uh, companies. You can always look at what they call a screener. A screener is you can you know type in a company. If you want to look up dividends, then you can do that. Um, but it's very interesting, y'all, and I really do like this app. Y'all need to check it out. And I really hope this video helped, y'all. Just diversify. That is one way y'all can lead, like not lose as much money. If you put all your eggs in one basket, then that is when you start to lose money. And that is where people get scared to invest in the stock market. You do not need that much money. I started off with $5 into this, into this account and put in a little bit of money here and there. Um, obviously, I have a good paying job. It's stable and stuff. But I recommend, like, if you could think of it as, like, okay, you go to the store, you bag, buy a bag of chips. If you, you don't realize how much that $5, that $3, that $1 adds up, but it really, really, really does add up, y'all. And you do not need to be wealthy. Y'all have to get out this mindset of, oh, you have to have so much money, or only poor people can do it, or you can't afford it, because that's not true at all. Um, I've been taking the time to educate myself financially. I have read um, uh, The Millionaire Next Door. I have read um, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Been listening to podcasts by da Dave Ramsey. I have been watching Graham Stephan on YouTube. And literally every morning, I love to see my stock grow and things just grow in different accounts and this is not the only video I can make and I'm sorry if this is extremely overwhelming y'all there is so much stuff to be learned like it is so many terms I had to learn dividends portfolios uh, dollar cost averaging my job I'm only 23 years old I'm in the military as y'all know um, but that does not stop y'all um, from doing the same thing that I'm doing just believe in yourself y'all could do it and um, if y'all have any questions obviously let me know uh, I can show you my other portfolios and my other accounts but like I said this is just one example you don't need a lot of money to get started and I want y'all to do it all right y'all I love y'all so much I hope y'all understood some of this and I'll see y'all later peace out